As the athletes are training and preparing for their race, we're putting together all of our plans. We're doing the, the extra hours and the hard yards in order that we'll be ready for France in July. Our preparation is extensive. We're going to do a lot of testing. We are doing a lot of testing. There's a lot of building going on. The preparation of the Dimension Data team is similar to that of the preparation of a Tour de France team. We both started our journey to Utrecht about six months ago. It is a very complex project, very short time frame. Um, but you know, we've got some great people. As good as the athletes are, I would venture to say our own athletes are as good. We've got amazing, diverse talent across the globe. So it will be unlocking that potential of our talent who will be passionate about wanting to make a difference. We have people in South Africa, we have people in uh, Melbourne here, in Perth, in London, in Paris, uh, in India. The accelerated time frame on this project, I think speaks mostly to our people and our wonderful culture in Dimension Data. We are lucky enough to have the most passionate, dedicated, motivated individuals. And they're passionate about ensuring that we execute with excellence every single day. We collaborate together, I mean, it's just the sum of the parts. I mean, I always say we have great individuals in Dimension Data, but when they work collectively together, we can do the unimaginable. We're not working in nice offices and, uh, and in clean data centres. We need to be able to deploy this solution in a way that can be transported all around France. We're going to be on top of mountains, we're going to be in fields. I'm dreaming of cycling, I'm waking up with new ideas. This kind of project that keeps you busy. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We'll be looking at the data and looking for potential insights and things that might be interesting that, uh, that we could publish out onto the website or through Twitter or uh, onto the TV coverage. Three and a half billion eyeballs over three weeks and you have 10 million live viewers. And then the opportunity with, with the digital information to provide that ultimately onto a handheld device and to the media and everybody else. Cycling, you know, also is about teamwork and fast pace. There's just this culture fit in a way between cycling and Dimension Data, and it's that match that I think could unlock something really special. With ASO, they've been wonderful partners, and the cooperation between both parties and the way in which we can have ideas and we work it out together, and it's been fantastic. There's so much innovation that we're thinking about. On an ongoing basis, we're thinking about bringing in innovation that'll make the sport just richer for the cycling viewer. The big difference this time is they found a global partner with the right kind of infrastructure, the right kind of skills and capabilities to be able to execute on their vision for the future of the sport in terms of its experience to the fans. We have the capability to exceed the expectations of the Tour de France because we're so client focused, because we're so technically passionate, but also because of how we work together. And that's part of our role going forward, is to really drive innovation into the race considering the new technology. We've created a partnership with ASO with a view to providing them with the ability to advance the technology available within the sport for the broadcast, for the roadside spectators, and more, most importantly, I think, for the people watching at home. And cycling is growing massively all over the world, and so it's just going to be incredible. People are going to really, really enjoy the information that we give them.